Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a tail scale network. This is an excellent solution if you need remote access anywhere you are in the world to machines and you want to create your own network that has all the connectivity that you would expect on your local area network, regardless of where you're at. To get started, go to tailscale.com. Go ahead and click on try for free. We're going to sign in with our Google account here and download the Tailscale client for Windows. What makes Tailscale so good is the fact that it is an overlay network, and as an overlay network, it has a proxy host, so you can be behind a double NAT, for instance, router. So once you've got Tailscale installed, you'll see a icon down in your system tray. Go ahead and give that a click. And if we click connect, we can see that we are logged in. The next thing that we're gonna do is remote into another machine that's already on the same network. And I'm gonna do that through remote desktop and we're gonna install Tailscale there as well. Keep in mind, you can install Tailscale on all sorts of different systems. So I'm copying over the Tailscale setup that we've got here for the executable and we're gonna go ahead, run that here and then we're going to join our network. It'll be the same process that we just used and this is literally how fast it is to get up and running with Tailscale. Next, I'm going to show you how to install a client, and that client will be on our Android phone. And you can even install this on all sorts of other things. You can install it on TrueNAS, you can install it on Unraid, all sorts of different operating systems. Okay, it's going to tell you that it needs to log in. So we're going to go ahead, click that Authenticate button. It's going to toss us up here to Tailscale. Again, we're going to do our OAuth. Now, while we are using, I am using, my Google for this particular demonstration. You can even use a self-hosted thing like Authelia, which we'll have a video on that and setting that up as well. And click on connect and that's it. Very cool. And this allows us to access these devices now from wherever we're at. So for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and close this remote session here. See the device details here. So I've got my Threadripper here and I've got the laptop here. And if I click on this, I can see that we can do things like share the machine. So I can send a link that allows somebody else to accept this. And if you right click, you can see that you've got your devices here and your network devices. This overlay network allows you to do things like connect to remote systems like they are on your own local network. So if we check here really quick, you can see that we're connected to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna to connect to different Wi-Fi here instead of the house's Wi-Fi. I'm gonna see if I can find the mobile hotspot that I've got. There it is. I'm gonna to connect to the mobile hotspot here for this through my cell phone uh, wireless provider. So that'll come up here in just a second and show you DSP. And you can see the speed is of course not that great. I'm not super close to any cell phone towers. So not super awesome, but definitely is remote connectivity. But this is cool because I'm using remote desktop. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, okay, but what if I don't have Windows Pro? Hello, this is your solution here then. Rust Desk is an open source client and we can use this to remotely connect to desktops. Very, very awesome. And so we're gonna download the most recent version here and that is gonna be 1.2.2 as of the time of this. And that is an executable here. This is also available for, of course, any Linux installation. And also you've got things like your uh, Mac uh, image that you could use also. Very cool. You've also got APK, I'm gonna run that here. This might look pretty familiar. We've got an ID and a one-time password. This is very, very similar to what you would get with other uh, software that you would be able to use for remote access. So you do have a UAC uh, kind of pop-up that can happen and that can make it hard for you to actually access the remote desktop. It's a little bit easier if you go ahead and actually install it. That way it will be able to bypass those kind of limitations that you might expect with starting up your Rust desk. We're gonna install it here as well. And you can also run your own server if you want faster connections. This is something that we'll accomplish in a future video here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my ID and take this over. And this way we can get set up between these two machines. We now have our remote desktop solution here, and there you have it. That is how fast it is to get set up and running. Very, very easy, as you can see here. 
And you can even go ahead and save this as a favorite, and that way you can connect faster to them whenever you need to. And now they'll show up here in your favorites. So I can see that my Dell 3330 I can access anytime, anywhere, even when I'm remote. Really awesome also because this is open source software and it gives you the capability to run your own servers with Headscale and also with the self-hosted Rust desk server, you can actually speed things up quite a bit versus even the performance you're seeing here right now or by setting up cloud nodes, some of the best performance you can get out there for proxying into your own systems, especially if you happen to be pretty remote wherever you're at. And after you install Tailscale on your device, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and enable it as a VPN connection. Go ahead, do that. And then next, go ahead and download Rust Desk. It's got a Android uh, APK that you can download from their GitHub repository. Once you've installed that, go ahead and click Accept whenever you connect here. And we should, after that, have our connection established. And so we can go ahead and favorite this connection. And I'm controlling the desktop from my cell phone here. And once you're connected on your Android device, you can see you've got actually everything that you need here for you to be able to use this for basically whatever you want. And you can download that from the Rust Desk GitHub repository, and they've got an Android downloadable right there. And if I give it input control here, you're going to need to allow the accessibility services for Rust Desk. That'll be off by default. And now I can see everything happening on my device and I can even press buttons and interact with things like I would expect to be able to interact with them. And if you check here, you can find that in accessibility, the Rust Desk input. And if you click on that, you'll see that I've enabled use Rust Desk input and Rust Desk input shortcut. And that's pretty much it. And so speaking of about some of the use cases that I plan on deploying with this, I'm going to be using this with a Zima board in a remote location that I will be able to access some IP cameras for my mom and connect them up to my server where I will be able to actually do some image analysis for her and some storing of certain motion events and stuff like that at her business. I also plan on deploying one of these on a KVM that is a low cost KVM that I have from RackNerd. And as long as you're gonna be under two terabytes of monthly bandwidth, you're gonna be fine with that. And I should, for this use case, be well under two terabytes as well. I plan on deploying Headscale. Now, Headscale is an open source self-hosted tail scale control server, and it's not meant to scale out to huge sizes, but it does allow you to kind of sidestep some of the impacts that you might have around device limitations or user limitations that you might get if you went purely with a tail scale implementation. And it also gives you control, complete end to end control, over your entire deployment. So that's another thing that I will be deploying also. Let me know in the comments below what some of your use cases look like for this. I have a distributed compute client that I'm gonna put part of the full node and part of the storage node in two different locations. And this will be actually really good for that. I'm gonna give it a shot and that'll be something fun to document along the way also. And so with Tailscale and Rust Desk, you have a very effective team viewer competitor here. This is a killer combination. Things like AnyDesk, why would you need it? Because you've got this, and this is really powerful. Time for me to burn these accounts down so that nobody can connect to these ever in the future. Everybody have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys next time.